Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sunhaven. Um, let's see. We left off on the first episodes. Whoops. We played through days one and two. We just kind of got settled into our little farm here that's still a mess. We need to clean it up. Um, we made our way into the mines a little bit. Need to get my watering can down. There it is. Need to figure out where I want to put my chest that I was able to craft. We have to meet Lucia today at the town hall at 10 a.m. So I need to keep an eye on that. I don't think they're a big stickler for the time, if I recall from having played through this before. Am I getting some screen? I looked like my screen was being weird for a minute, but I think it's just the movement of the wheat. The wind, like, blowing through it. So I think we're okay. <laughs> it's always fun when recording a new game, figuring out the settings and all that, seeing how my computer handles it. Um, I also I adjust the volumes, so hopefully it's not quite as loud as it was on the first episode. Some of that noise was aggressively loud, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, also, it's like first thing in the morning. It's 6.30 a.m., and I am just getting started with my day a little early today. I just kind of want to do some cleanup, I think, before we have to go into town. We should look at the quest board, though, see if any villagers have some requests that maybe we can help with today. My main goal, really, though, after our, our meeting, we have another skill point, will be to work on getting farther in the mines and just getting as much copper ore as we can right now so I can start crafting some um, armor and stuff for us and some better tools. Let's get these apples. Okay. Oh, come on, how many apples do we have? I keep hitting B for bag instead of I for inventory. Oh, they're all the same quality now. It used to be really annoying, and I don't know if they've changed that or if something, or if I'm just only getting the same quality. Is there would be, there was, I think, green, red, and silver quality. And they wouldn't stack all together. You could still give them all to the snack coon, I think, but yeah. So I these don't have any quality on them. But we should also eat one, because it gives a moderate amount of health per permanently. We'll do that after we fed the snack coon. Spend our point. As soon as I remember where we do that. <laughs> oh no, this is sad. Oh yeah, I forgot they've improved the map too. So we can see there's, uh, Topi has an available quest for us. Then any other quests that we would have or want to turn in. It's really handy. Like Stardew Valley, you can only do this if you have a mod. So it's really ni nice that they've included this into the game right from the start. So we have a farming skill point. Let's see. We haven't unlocked this level yet, so we need to spend some more points. Oh, good. So we can now go for top shelf, increase the, uh, the price of the barn animal products. So yeah, we'll, top, we'll go through that. I don't know how many points we need. Yeah, we have to spend five points. So we'll, once we do that, we'll unlock the next rank of skills. Awesome. Yeah, I need to work. Oh, it's 10 a.m. I dilly dallied. Oh, we've got things crafted. I forgot we uh, crafted the ore smelter thingamaboober. <laughs> I can't remember the names of things anymore. Hi, Topi. I'll come get your quest in a bit, but I have a very important important appointment for which I am late. Phew, she's still here. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Hmm. This is it. Elios is just ahead. I'm afraid I can't go with you. It has to be entirely your own choice. Good luck, Moxie. I'll be here when you're done. I'm gonna have a sip of tea. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot there's ice in it and I had it real close to the microphone there. Look at how magnificent Elios is. I've been waiting for you, Moxie. It is fortunate that 
Lucia brought you here unharmed. I am Elios, the Sun Dragon and Guardian of Sunhaven. Sunhaven is an enduring community with a bountiful future. I carry the responsibility of preserving the Commonwealth here. It is not a duty I take lightly. As Guardian, I prefer to see each new arrival myself. Moxie, I, re I require a glimpse of your innermost self. Clear your mind, respond only with the purest truth. Moxie, for whom do you live your life? I'm selfish. I live it for myself. <laughs> Yourself, I see. Indeed, every tree in the forest must lift itself out of the dirt. Moxie, where do you feel the strongest natural connection? Uh, a flowing river, for sure. I have always felt connected with water. Moxie, what sets your heart alight? Um, probably living in the moment more than fulfilling my destiny. Hmm, how curious. Moxie, there's power within you. Your energy is almost familiar. Were I, were I blind, I would surely think you... Uh, oh my gosh, sorry. Were I blind, I would surely think a young dragon stood before me. I cannot say what this means for your fate, but this power will only grow. Find your ways, explore your connection with this magic, nurture yourself. And Moxie, your powers will undoubtedly have consequences on our world. Though this responsibility falls only on you, remember that you are not alone. Do not alienate yourself from your neighbors. They will support you when you falter. I grant you my blessing, Moxie. You now have access to the great power that resides within you, but you must hone your skills before continuing on your journey. When the time is right, I will reach out to guide you. As you leave this place, you enter your new life. Walk confidently toward your fortune, Moxie. All right, so we get bonus mana. Who doesn't like bonus mana? <laughs> get some combat X XP, and we're going to um, pick the 250 coins because we need money. So we just got level 2 combat. We have a skill point. Spend. Uh, combat. Okay. Fireball. Mm, I remember I didn't really use this a lot at first. But I do enjoy, like, Chain Lightning was really cool. But I don't, I think we can kind of bounce ar around between the different skill trees here. So Fireball is fun, though. Deals damage burning enemies. Uh, no cooldown is nice. Agility increases the attack speed of swords. This one, Heavy Hitter, increases damage of all attacks. I might go with that. Or Extra Plating increases your armor. Actually, you know what? Let's go with that. I feel like early on things hit us kind of hard. I haven't done a lot of combat in the game. You know, I'm still very low level on my first character that I had created before I even started my YouTube channel. And so, yeah, we're going to go with Extra Plating. It should help a bit. All right, let's get returned. Moxie, you're a mage. I thought I felt some magical energy in when, in you when we first met, but now that energy is bursting from you. Congratulations. Um, I've given different answers to Elios before, and um, seems like you always get the you're a mage response. Elios gave me my blessing when I was much younger, so I know it can be a lot to take in. I'm always around to talk if you're feeling unsure about your magic or anything else. For now, how about we head back home? I'm ready to go. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Horn heart. For anyone who has time to spare, I could really use a hand with supplies. I almost com I'm almost completely out of tongue depressors. He wants 25 logs. That wouldn't be hard to do, but I need <laughs> all my wood right now. I'm in need of some sand dollars. Okay, for a home project. We could probably find three sand dollars on the beach for Lucia. Lucia? Is it Lucia or Lucia? Lucia. I guess I'll probably be saying it both ways. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. Let's see. Let's talk to these guys, see what they're selling. Rex. Hello there. I'm Rex. I know all there is to know about digging underground. Hi Rex, I'm Moxie. That's right, I'm a traveling merchant selling all the mining gear you need. What are you selling? So we can get iron ore, some rubies, sapphires. 
an iron pickaxe. We'll be able to craft those. <clears throat> Scott. Welcome, friend. Call me Scott. I'll supply whatever weaponry you need or want. I'm Moxie. Good to meet you. Like I said, Moxie, if you find yourself outmatched on the battlefield, come find me. Yeah. Some of this stuff we'll be able to... to, to craft, I think. I don't know if I've seen crossbow recipes, though, but maybe they've been added or I just didn't get that far. Training dummy. How cute. Mithril ring. So fun. We have the riches keepsake. I think. Did, is that what we went with? Yes. 120 gold per day. Okay. I kind of just want to get... Oh, hello. Hello, Catherine. Isn't your name Moxie? So good to meet you. I'm Catherine. I own the farming store here. That's right. Wait, how did you know my name? Oh, don't you know? I'm surprised you can't tell. I'm a witch. It wasn't hard to divine the name of your of our new farmer. Give a gift? Because I think we have... See if she likes sapphires. Although we don't have many to give out to people, so... I bet I can find a use for this somewhere. Hmm. We did get a little bit of a heart fill up there, so... It's the least I could do. Do we get any more information on them? Other than you gave them a gift. Like, what they like, don't like... Hmm. No. Alrighty. Okay. I think it's gonna be a farm cleanup kind of day. I want to get lots of wood. Oh, we could see what Topi wants, though. Maybe we could help him. I don't know if this quest will be timed or not. I hope not. Hey, Moxie, I need your help, but you have to keep it a secret. You promise you won't tell? <laughs> uh, just, what's up? Sorry, I need you to promise you won't tell or I could get in trouble. Okay, I promise. My parents have been telling me I need to be more responsible lately, and then I go and lose my notebook has all my schoolwork inside. Can you find it for me? Oh, I did this quest before, but I don't remember where the heck it was. I'll find your notebook. What a relief. You're a lifesaver. Oh, I don't even remember where I found it. Does it give us a hint? Somewhere in Sunhaven. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Topi. Oh, is it timed? I forgot to look. Okay. These don't look like, they have timers on them. They used, you used to have, like, two to three days, I think. Maybe a little longer, but they used to be timed. Oh, two days left. It doesn't tell you there, but it tells you here. Topi's does not have a timer. So the things from the board, the quest board, do have a timer. So we need to go find three sand dollars. We should probably go down to the beach here first. My little fart skip makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, we could try a little... No, the things to the east here of the beach, they're a little bit higher level for us. Oh, we got some sand dollars, copper bars, crab, coins. But I need to put my chest down. So if we go here, there are some mobs we can um, attack. We're level 8, though. We're going to start out on the lower level mobs that are to the west of our farm and much easier, especially because the respawn rate of them in this game, unless they've changed it, is ridiculously fast. Sharp axe. Double take. Might go for double take or good neighbor. Each bulletin board quest completed awards additional community tokens. I wonder how handy. I don't know what the tokens are spent on yet. But we might want to go with that. I know we will get lots of forageables anyway. We'll be able to make a better axe. Let's try this for fun. Since it's a new aspect of the game. Okay, we just need one more sand dollar. See if we can find it on our farm. This will end up taking all day, and we're not going to get any... Yeah, treasure chests can be found. 
We're not going to get anything else done. Um, oh, that's just telling us about the chest that we uh, opened on the beach. Okay. I know we'll also be picking up like little, I think, money bags or something here and there. That's fun. They kind of reward exploring. I want to grab these. Okay. Whoops. You go there. You go up there. We'll just put... I guess we'll just put this here for now. And we can get some copper bars. It takes wood for copper bars now? It didn't used to. That's annoying. You can make coal from wood. Interesting. I don't think you needed coal before for iron or gold. So yeah, they've... they've uh, Definitely changed this up a bit. Okay, we just want to make those. We've got our copper going. We'll put a chest down here right next to the crafting table. I'm going to hold on to our supplies. That Well, we can put our silk in there. Might as well put our sapphire in there for now. I'm going to put my wooden torch and my, log, my wooden fence in there because I just don't really have a place in mind to put them yet. Holding on to those. Or if anybody has a quest. These we need to turn in. These again I'm saving in case anyone has a quest. We could probably we'll eat one seaweed. Because it gives us a small amount of mama. Ma mama? It gives us mama. Mama permanently. Oh, I looked so happy eating it. Let's sell the other. I really thought you could right click or sh oh shift click that's what it does shift click will quickly put it there um so yeah let's get to chopping i want to only really chop down mature trees i think that's how we're going to spend the rest of our day and we'll get our our, our last sun dollar for the quest in the morning i think unless we make, chop our way down towards the beach Hopefully these sound effects aren't as loud as last time. I watched a little bit of my playback. I'm like, whoa, that was still loud even after I turned it down. So I apologize about that. I'm hoping now it's just because my speakers are loud. Like the rocks. I couldn't believe how loud that was. Why, why am I not chopping? That's my... Oh, the copper pickaxe. Wrong one. That's why. <laughs> I really need to get my uh, mining up to five. That's still kind of loud. Hopefully not too loud. I, I am planning on doing another episode or two of this because I really like this game a lot. And I feel like the only way I'll play it is if I'm recording it while I'm playing it. Because I just... I, I've just get so busy with other stuff. And I, ha I have other games I play for my downtime. <laughs> oh no, that's just sad. Just too many games, so little time. We've got... We do have enough logs if we wanted to get Dr. Warnhart's quest done, but we're really going to need a lot of our wood early on. 20... I need to see how many copper bars we need for crafting the uh, anvil. Okay, we've got some copper bars ready. I think we had a few on us as well. So the anvil is five and we only have four. Okay. So we'll hold off. Let's just get some bo Whoa! <laughs> get some boards going. Level up in your skills to unlock more recipes. Um, you'd be crabby too if someone reeled you in on a hook. I guess we'll sell the crab. Got that out of that chest, I think. We've 
Got more trees to plant too. I love the sweet music. It's just, it's just sweet. It's just a happy sounding, fun little cute game. I think today was heavy tree chopping. I do want to kind of explore the forest a little bit, work on our combat. But I also want to get into the mines and get lots of copper. It's kind of a tough choice. Especially I want to get the uh, copper keys made so we don't have to keep finding the rusty key. Hey, level 6 exploration. We'll put another one on good neighbor. So now we've unlocked the second row. We'll figure out... Ooh, hustle increases movement speed. Yeah, that's probably what we'll go for. Yeah, more gold is always good too, but yeah. I want to move faster. Especially if I'm playing this game on the uh, intended fast <laughs> fast setting of the daytime passing. Would you like to sleep? Yes. I want to wake up having slept straight through the night. Oh, what a wonderful treat that would be. Oh, don't chop your floor. All right, so today we just have to reach level 12 in any skill. I think it used to be only level 5. So we need to get another sand dollar. We need to find the notebook. I really don't remember where it is. Oh, are these ready to harvest? Those grew faster for some reason. Okay. I'm not going to question it. I should probably just keep my toolbar down, or my watering can on my toolbar for now. So we have green root. We need to make the uh, grinder kitchen thing because we can make turn that into a powder. I don't know that we've looted any other green root seeds. I'm, we could go buy some more seeds. Maybe that would be a good use of our time today. Get a little more variety going. A little tricky to see what has and hasn't been watered yet, but fortunately it just puts a little white square around it. Oh yeah, and once you dig something up you have to retill the soil. So I did a five by four there. <laughs> so let's just do another one next to it and get ready. Plant some goodies. I know I keep trying to use the wrong pickaxe. I'm sorry. Sapphire. Nice. Level four mining. We can almost use our pickaxe. We need level five. loud and I don't know if it's because I have my speakers up or not. Let's just turn the master volume down a little more. Hopefully it's okay. I don't want the game to be too quiet because that would suck. One, two, let's do like three spaces between. One, two, three. Oh, oh I have a skill point. Mining. Yeah, we'll keep going with hidden gems. Now that I know that sapphires sell pretty well. Oh, level four farming. Mm. Top shelf. Yes, please. Thank you. I forget what foods I was making that were pretty good and we don't have a kitchen built yet so it's hard to know what crops I should be planting I just want to do a little of everything though let's water the space we'll be all set
Okay. I want to do some fishing too. So much I want to do. I really want to slow down the time, but that would make the videos too long, I think. We have room for 22 seeds, I think. Did I get any green root seeds? No. Oh, we'll go look for the, uh, um... It should look on my beach first, since we haven't really been down there. The, uh, the, uh, the quest item. Sand Dollar! I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. Well, I know why, but just because I'm old and sad. Oh, another treasure chest. Awesome. Gold bars, crabs, money. I like how I'm holding that crab. Oops. Let's see how much wood we need for this bridge over here. Very similar to the one in uh, Stardew Valley. Ooh, another chest. 20 wood planks. Okay, not right now, but we could... I know we've got some... Eek! <laughs> Being worked on. We'll deal with that later. Um, yeah, we're gonna sell those. Just sell one of those. Okay. We can turn in the sand dollar quest, buy some seeds. Hello, Kara. That's Dr. Wernhard's house. It looks like the hospital, though. So that gets confusing, <laughs> at least when you're new to the game. Okay, what do we have on sale today? Potatoes. Oh, did we plant any potatoes? I think we did plant a few. That's right. Seven left. Yeah, let's buy... Buy all for 630. Sure. We're not, we may not be able to buy as many... Oops. Seeds. Looks like you got the last one. Okay. More wheat, it's on sale. We'll buy five. See ya. Um, so that's seven, twelve. What are you selling? Let's maybe get some. Oh, see, tomatoes and stuff are going to be handy for cooking. Um, Let's, we probably shouldn't go too spendy. Pepper seeds were pretty good handy. Oh, you can buy meat here. Buy another crafting table. Interesting. Can you craft a crafting table? I'll have to go see. Let's get... There we go. <laughs> now we're broke. We'll just go plant. Well, we still have a little more money. Buy a little more. Um, let's get some tomatoes. I only do three, but that's okay. Oh, we need to turn in our quest. Oh, Lynn has a quest for us. That's me. Where's Lucia? There she is. She's in the town hall, I think. We haven't been in there yet, so that'll be good. Oh, and the pet store, you guys. Look how cute this place is. Look at the little babies. And these change up. It's it's kind of random. Shiver, a little penguin, kitty, and puppy. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I can't wait to have a little companion. I kind I don't know which one I'd want first. And there are different areas we'll unlock. One's kind of like an elf area, and then there's Withergate, and they all, you can get different, um, different animals and mounts and things there. Look, there's Emmett again. He works everywhere. Her office is this way, yes. 
Are these the sand dollars I requested? Why, thank you, Moxie. I must repay you for your time. Go on and have this. No problem. So, community tokens. We'll have to see what we can spend these on. Finishing XP. That's new to the game. That's nice. Um, I'm going to take the coins. <laughs> I like that we can now get fishing XP, though. Hmm, yes, may I help you? What services? Oh, first let's introduce ourselves. I'm Moxie, the new farmer in town. Oh, yes, I suppose we haven't met yet. Haven't met. I'm sorry, I'm adding words. My name is Bernard. It's a pleasure. What services do you provide? This is what I got for you. So, a diamond, a person's best friend, love letter, gift this to an NPC to start dating them. Elixir of Fortitude provides health permanently. Speed provides 0.5% movement speed permanently. Sells for, okay. But you can buy them with community tokens. Bone gift. A great gift for unusual friends. Oh my gosh, I want to try that out. Engagement ring. An elixir of mind. Made of waters drawn from an enchanted pool. It provides mana. Arcane might. Provides spell damage. Fun. Iron will. Defense. Gains exploration skill points. Army skill points. So neat. Moo potion. A white potion. Oh wait, no, it's just milk. Magic potiony milk. Oh no. Left click to transform. Oh no, you guys. We're gonna have some fun, I think, with these things. Let's see how fit much things cost here. Oh hi Tanya, I didn't mean to talk to you, but okay. <laughs> Good to meet you too. I'm Moxie. You're living on the farm, right? I'm the town's courier, so I'll be delivering your mail. See ya. What do you... What do... You do what you have to, and that's how you get by. What are you selling? So, a barn. Okay, it costs 5000 Your farm animals will stay nice and cozy in this sturdy wood, wooden barn. Increases your farm's total animal capacity by 8. <laughs> Got it. Provides access to the barn interior. We might want to start saving up for the barn. Automatic feeder. Nice. A new piece of engineering developed in the great city. Filled with feed, it'll automatically dispense food. You could buy another house. 25000 This is to upgrade our house to tier, tour, tier 2. Tier 2. Gosh, you guys. Now we know. 6.30 a.m. videos. Not a good idea. Requirement to craft tier 2 house upgrade kit at crafting table. That's 10,000. Tier 3. Demolition kit. Don't like where you built your house or barn. Just move it. Automatic collector. This will collect your animals' products. This is amazing. And it's only 1,000. Nice. And a feeding station. A food trough for your barn animals. Animal food can be placed on this to fill it up, giving your animals food for the day. Love it. They've really added a lot of new stuff since I last played. Mm. Uh, let's see what's Amanda want no I'm not giving you 500 gold I only have 400 hey Lynn how are you doing oh hello aren't you my train buddy it's good to see a face that I actually recognize um what do you do here Lynn I'm a blacksmith or I guess apprentice blacksmith Solon is teaching me but I've only just started training with him I hope to be as good as him one day I'm sure you'll become a master one day, too. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sorry. Compliments always catch me by surprise. You're very nice, you know. See ya. <laughs> I do want to romance somebody, but I won't know who until we've met everybody. I don't even know how the entire process works in this game. We buy tomato seeds, too. There they are. I'm like, wait a minute. So we'll do a couple of them over here. This is going to be a hodgepodge of a mess, but it's all right.
And we have a little more room if we get some seeds or something. Um, let's see what's going on over here. I really want to go into the mines, but I just don't think we'll have time. <clears throat> we can do some more boards. Okay, cooking pot grinder. We're going to need that. This stone grinder turns wheat and other materials into fine powders. Yeah, let's craft one of those. We need to get, once we have more wood planks, we can do our cooking pot. But yeah, we can't, we can't craft another craft. Oh, that's cute. I don't remember that floor tile. And those are the house upgrades we can do once we have the permit. It's not a ton of materials. That's not too undoable. It's mostly the money and that's not, I don't remember now how much they cost. But yeah, if we wanted a second crafting table, I could see that being handy at some point. We could uh, purchase one. Okay, so we've got the grinder going next. Let's queue up the cooking pot. And I guess just continues. I really want to go... You know what? Let's just... It's still early enough. Let's go a little bit to the west. I want to try out some combat. Let's see what goodies we find. Let's explore a little bit. This mess will wait for us. Oh, you know what? We can't go to the west until we feed the snack coon. This is a dead end. <laughs> Never mind. Let's see if there are any fish around. See how I do. There are no fishies. That's a sad story. I guess we'll uh, chop some trees. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm having to chop a lot more trees right off the bat. Like, I don't know if they've increased the, num the amount of wood used in stuff or what. Or it's just because I had my game time slowed down so much that I just I spent an entire day or two chopping wood and had a ton of logs to work with right off the bat. It's almost time to head for bed. And that will wrap up this episode, actually. We could try and sneak in another day, but... Um, I think this is a good length for the video. I don't want them to go on too long. I think two days right now is working just fine. Maybe on the next one I could try and sneak in three days, but I also know my phone's gonna ring any minute because my mom calls me every morning at 7.15 and it is now 7.14 and there's the phone. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> I will call her right back. Let's go. Uh, just go get tucked into bed. We'll go to bed early. I will just thank you very, very so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am planning on doing a couple of more episodes. Um, so, but let me know if you're enjoying it. If you want to see this become a little bit more of a full game play video series, whatever I'm trying to say for my channel or not. So thanks so much, you guys. Take care.